Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name's Sadie, and today I created this look. Uh, sort of have makeup by Missa vibes, um, I took a lot of inspiration from her today, so if you'd like to see how I've done this look, then keep on watching. First colour I'm going to go in with is the shade Persuasion, which is just like this sort of dark purpley tone. I'm probably going to go in with black, but I'll do that afterwards. Um, what brush am I going to use? Because yet again, I still haven't cleaned my brushes. So, literally, like I have none. I'm just going to pick up a flat shade of brush. So, I'm going to go in with that shade. And I'm going to pop that. I do have powder underneath my eye here. And I'm going to pop that. Anyone else's mirror doesn't want to cooperate with them? Never mind. So, I'm going to pop this in the outer corner. Just about into the middle there. I'm so sorry if you can hear seagulls are in full force again tonight, so... Um, if anyone doesn't know, I live near a chicken factory, so they are constantly surrounding and making a lot of noise. So, it's a bit annoying when you're trying to film something. Right, another brush. Uh, I'm just going to take like a small crease brush and we're going to take the shade in lust, I think. I'll go for that one. Oh my god, shut up. Then I'm just going to take like a flat. It's a bit fluff, but it is like a shade brush. Um, and I'm going to take the shade Lit, which is the orange in the palette. This does look a bit wild, but I need it sort of high up, so... I'm not so I can do it. Then I'm taking a Real Techniques, I think it's a central crease brush, yeah. And I'm going to take the shade Keen, which is the yellow. And I'm going to blend that on the outer part of lit. Come a bit closer. I'm just going to quickly redo those steps, just blend it in. Like, as long as the um, orange, uh, the yellow part's blended out better for me, it doesn't matter because I'm going to do a cut crease anyway, so it's not going to really matter massively, but we'll do it. And I think I'll actually go darker in the uh, crease. I think I might put a black in or something now in a second. I can't remember what any brushes I use, which is great. Jeez, they're like right over the house. I always go too big and too out, like I don't want to, but I've got no control. So I'm, I'm just going to quickly add a darker colour in. God, I, have... I say I have no brushes, I've got loads of brushes, but just none that I actually want to use. So yeah, I think I'm going to go... What the hell was that? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with my lights out, which is the black. You fuck this up. Just to darken it. I'm not gonna lie, I love this Stace Marie palette, but am I the only one that feels like I got a dud? Because loads of these shades in here are hard pan. Like the end last colour, I'm literally swirling this around enough to shape my camera. Like literally like hardly anything comes off on it. Um yeah, like lights out isn't like an intense black, inferno influence. I can they just come out like really hard pan, so am I like the only one who has that? I don't know. Someone help me out. Like, in somewhat way, I will admit I was kind of, like, disappointed when I actually received it with all of that because 
like none of the first one has any of those problems so uh, I felt a bit rubbish but I still love the palette okay I did the black I'm gonna redo my steps blend it all in Right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut my crease using Ibiza from the Mitchell palette. Palette. Acid Rain Collection with P. Louise. And I'm going to grab a P. Louise 7072 brush, which I've fallen in love with. And yeah, I'm just going to quickly cut my crease. Now that I've done that, I did just quickly go over the outer corner with the black and the first shade persuasion. I'm debating whether to put, I really love this orchid shade, and I don't know whether to put it on that purple. Yeah, I might do actually. Let's quickly do that while I'm here. Just taking an ABH brush that you normally get in the palettes. And I'm going to quickly pop that here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to put eyeliner on. I'm not going to do a flick, but I am actually going to do it quite thick. Uh, I'm taking Inspo by Makeup by Miss at the moment. So, I'm going to sort of try and do her thick liner. And then put glitter in the middle. Okay, I let that to dry and then I'm just going to go back over with the black shadow just so it blends in a little bit better and I can't find the brush. There it is. Okay, now that that's dry, I'm gonna put on hold that down, uh, the Shade Studio from Urban Decay and the Heavy Metal Glitter Liners, and I'm gonna put that on my liner. But I'm just sort of gonna put it just in the middle. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly do the bottom. So what am I gonna do? I know I've set in everything, but I'm just gonna put primer on underneath just so I know that they really, really stick as well. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same brush for persuasion. And I'm gonna pop that right underneath. I do need a mirror for this. Sorry if I go blurry. Oh. Seagulls are back. I just had a bit of peace and quiet, but they've decided not. Same with in last. 
going to really connect it to this part here although it never works because I have foundation on but it's because I'd rather do my eyes first because I get this all done quicker oh, yeah. I did want this like really nice and smoked out so oh yeah here's the fall up because I'm stopping Kieran then I'm going to take that shade orchid and I'm going to put that in like the inner lower part here And on the same brush, wherever I put my highlighter, there, which is the Maybelline one, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner as well, on top, oh, wrong way around. Nice, let's pop some mascara on. And then because I do want to make it smoky, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Perversion and pop that in the waterline. Oh, I really like that. I think I'm going to put a bit of black in my bottom lash line as well. And then I'm going to smoke that out with a clean brush. Just taking another ABH one and blend that underneath. Nice, now mascara again on the bottom. Right, I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. So what I'm going to quickly do is do the other eye and I think I'll come back on camera to put on lashes and a lippy. See you in a moment. Right, so I've put an eyelash on this side. I've done my lip. Um, eyelashes are Ariana from Doll Beauty, which I thought would go really nice because they're nice and big and fluffy, but they're also quite round, which would go with the eye shape that I've chosen to do. So I've got this one. It should be dry by now. I'm going to pop this one on quickly. Right, lashes on and um, I think that's everything. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, I think I, I wasn't well, it probably was a good thing that I wasn't so chatty, but um, 
it probably won't be as short but it feels short to me because I haven't really spoken much but I hope you enjoyed it uh, yeah please like and subscribe and give me a nice big thumbs up um, comment down below give me what you want to see what you didn't like what you did like and I hope to see you in the next one bye